Willkommen. Bienvenue. Benvenuto. Bienvenido. Benvenu. This was two lessons in one sentence. <laughs> the first lesson is the European language is either a very closely related to English, so easy to learn, or in the second case, very closely related to each other, so easy to learn as well. I have the great honor to welcome you here tonight for this celebration of European unity and diversity, diversity in unity. I think today that we have here lots of uh, school districts and uh, superintendents, principals, world language supervisors from uh, here, our uh, friends in the United States. Uh, we'd like to, to, to stress the, really the importance to, that for, for the youth and for the kids to have the possibility to uh, learn, to study uh, a world and uh, in this case an European language because if you see world and European language are more or less similar because most of the European language are world languages and not only in the sense that they are uh, spoken abroad in many continents but also if it's not the case because they are really important in economical, cultural and in uh, uh, trade uh, terms. But we live in a globalized world and you cannot pretend to be a truly global citizen if you have never tried to be in other people's shoes and try to figure out how those people think and how they see the world. Uh, and the best way to open that window is to learn a foreign language, whatever it is. To quote Marcel Proust, and I will say it in French for pleasure, La seule véritable exploration, la seule vraie fontaine de jouvence, ne serait pas de visiter des terres étrangères, mais de posséder d'autres yeux, de regarder l'univers à travers les yeux des autres. Which means the only true exploration, the only true fountain of youth, would not be to visit foreign lands, but to possess other eyes, to look at the universe through the eyes of others. The University of Connecticut has a very uh, interesting program. Uh, they combine the teaching of engineering and German, and uh, the students go for one year to Germany to you know, study there and learn the language and so on, and they get a, a dual degree in engineering and German. And I, just uh, about a year ago, I was at an event at UConn in stores, and the graduates of that program were there, and they were at that, in that year, 25 graduates of that program. So they had a dual degree in engineering and German. And there were 100 representatives of companies looking for these students. So that showed them that their investment to learn, in this case, German, but it could be any of the languages that we're talking about, really gave them an additional advantage. We are all coming from different histories. When we, we do have common roots, Europe. The idea of Europe comes across in so many tales of American families. As you know, also the Italian language here in the US and in Massachusetts, in particular, has deep roots. According to the United States Census Bureau, estimate there are almost 20 million Americans with Italian origin, and almost 1 million only in Massachusetts. Together with the other European consulate, I am here to reaffirm once again our determination to continue along this common path together with the Massachusetts school system. Superintendents, world language advisors, teachers, we are all here for a common goal, to have always better and well-prepared students who can be tomorrow leaders of a globalized world. We are really are convinced that uh, it is important, even if for people speaking such a, a, a important and widespread language as English for the, for the uh, US citizens is important to try and um, know and in as much as possible to know in depth a foreign language and in this case a European language because of what the, the previous speakers have said for personal reasons, for personal advancement, for cultural uh, reasons for economic and intellectual purposes, 
and perhaps the first thing for the development of a person. Hello. This is a wonderful opportunity to invite administrators, language professionals, to become acquainted with our consuls in the Boston area and the wonderful initiative that they're providing to uh, our teachers and to our language programs in Massachusetts so that they can grow and prosper. And we're very grateful for the work that they're doing. Thank you. And me too, I, in the name of ELAG, which is the European Language Adv Advocacy Group, in New England, I'm one of the representatives of this group, namely from Portugal, which is the language that I promote here in Massachusetts. And I'm very glad the, that the Guta Institute could host this event to help us in the promotion of um, the different languages that um, we intend to, to, to promote here uh, among the superintendents, uh, principals and world language supervisors that actually help us on the fields to, to create and to, and to increase uh, other programs that are important to, to the life of any, any school in the United States. So thank you so much to the Goethe Institute and to the Consul General of Germany for this opportunity here tonight to, to help us to promote um, this event. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be here this afternoon, and I think this is a very auspicious occasion here at the Goethe Institute to have people representing the European languages. I really feel that that's the way to go, because I think we are part of Western civilization. We should keep in touch with Western civilization. We do a lot. Our students should be learning a foreign languages, but not only for its cultural implications, but certainly because this has become a global community, a global society. We're interacting with so many countries. We have industry going. We have business. We have security. We have so many different things that we are involving our future citizens of this country. And actually, they need to know a foreign language as a matter of usefulness and as a matter of communication. And I really feel that we should be promoting languages as early as possible. Public schools is um, completely supportive and on board of increasing opportunities for students to study the world languages, and um, you know we're going to do what we can to to make that happen. So I'd like to see more students taking a language course. I'd like to see more opportunities for teachers to uh, improve their. Um, their skills and their instructional strategies and in teaching the languages. And I think most importantly, I'd like to find more opportunities for students to visit the various countries and, and study and learn, you know, from the people on the ground. Because I think that's the, that can be one of the most important ways uh, to really spark interest of, um, of, of kids in America, you know, in learning languages by actually visiting the country. So, you know, let's find a way to do that. Bienvenidos a España. 